Hey, it's Nick here, and you're on the Transparent FX Academy. I'm a top potter on TradingView, and it's time to make another full market breakdown to see exactly what kind of opportunities we can be looking for on the period that we will be analyzing both from a technical and an order flow perspective. So without further ado, let's jump onto the charts. <music> Okay, so the pair that I want to speak about in today's video is EURCAD and the reason for which I want to break down EURCAD for you guys is because the pair is very near to providing to us a good trading opportunity. So as usual, what I want to do is give you guys a full breakdown of it to show you where we can find the best probabilities for a trading opportunity on the pair and as usual, I will be keeping this breakdown as educational as possible. So first, we will be speaking about the technical aspect of this market, and we will then go and see what we have from an order flow perspective on it. So both from a euro perspective and on the CAD. Now, why are we checking the order flow? So the commitment of traders. We're checking the commitment of traders because here what you can track is how the biggest banks and institutions are shifting their positioning in time. And if you're able to read how they're moving their orders in time, you do have an advantage over your competition in the market. And by the end of the video, we will know where we can be looking for the best probabilities for a trading opportunity on this pair. So without further ado, let's get straight into the analysis and I will keep it very educational. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, what we have is a market which is testing an extremely strong structure area. In fact, this zone was acting as very strong resistance here preceding all this move to the downside then the market broke above the zone and at that point previous resistance was turned support here and the market respected this support creating this move to the upside but then the market broke again below the structure went for a retest and currently what we are doing we are testing previous support now turn resistance and rejecting it to the downside now if it is not clear for your eyes to identify that in this area you have strong structure what you can do is use the line chart now on the line chart what you will see are the weekly and monthly closes now in this case since we are on the monthly time frame you will see the monthly closes now why do i say only monthly and weekly i say only monthly and weekly because those are the two time frames on which the closes are the most accurate so i suggest to use this line chart let's say trick only on the monthly and weekly timeframes. And what you will be able to do is look at the closes in the market. All these angles, these are all closes. And the closes are quite important structure areas in the market that will be acting as support and resistance, specifically if you are on the monthly or weekly time frame. And in this case, what we can see is clearly that here we had a, a monthly close. Then we had another monthly close here and another monthly close here, meaning that the zone in between these three monthly closes is actually a strong structure area, actually historical structure area. And now if we go back to the normal candles chart, we can see this area in a much more clear way. So on the monthly, we are testing resistance and we can expect the market to provide a deeper rejection to the downside. Now, if we look at the bigger picture, just the last thing that I want to show you here on the monthly, what we can notice is that all this area is extremely strong monthly resistance. From here, the market had created all this move to the downside. Again, from here, all this move to the downside. And again, from here, all this move to the downside. So on the monthly, we have extremely strong monthly resistance, which the market rejected multiple times. So on the monthly, we have strong resistance. Let's go down on the weekly time frame and see what we have from a weekly perspective. Now on the weekly time frame, we have a little bit of a different scenario. What we can see is that on the weekly, we had a nice impulse to the downside and now the market is providing the retracement. Now, generally speaking, if you have an impulse in the market and you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci from the high, sorry, from the high to the low of the impulse. And if we take our Fibonacci from the high to the low of this impulse, what we can see is that the market has actually already tested the 0.618 and the 0.786 during the move to the downside. Now, actually, this is another trick that, I, that I'm sharing in this, in this video. When you measure the Fibonacci on an impulse and you can see that 
Inside of this impulse, the market has already tested the Fibonacci levels one by one. You expect the market to retrace to the last Fibonacci level that the market hasn't already tested during the retracement. Sorry, during the impulse. What does it mean? It means that if during this impulse, the market has already tested at 0 0.618 and it has already tested at 0. Point, sorry, it has already tested at 0 0.786 and it has already tested at 0 0.618, the next Fibonacci level in this case is the 50%. So what you expect is for the market to now test the 50% and reject it to the downside. This is another trick that I shared. So when you see, instead of an impulse, the market testing Fibonacci levels one by one. So first 0 0.786, then 0 0.618, and then 50%. This is where you expect the market to provide a rejection to the downside. So on the weekly, we can expect a last move to the upside and then a rejection to the downside. Going down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Now, the daily time frame price action is extremely interesting for a trading opportunity. Now, I had spoken about EuroCAD few times in the past. I spoke about EuroCAD after this overextended W formation when the market was here. I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we expected the market to create this move to the downside. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did. Then I spoke about EuroCAD again after this M formation here when the market was at this level. And I explained all the reasons for which we wanted to see this move to the upside. And again, that is exactly what the market did. And we had this impulse. We wanted to see a correction and continuation. And that is exactly what the market did. And by the way, I will link this previous analysis in description. So you can go and check out this previous analysis. I will link it in description, obviously for further reference and more free education. Hey, just a quick thing. Make sure you comment below and you let me know which pairs or topics you would like me to analyze or cover in the next videos. But at the moment, what do we have and how we can be looking for the next opportunity on EuroCAD? Now, one thing that we have to really notice here on the daily is that we are creating this uh, W formation. And when you see an impulse, a correction, lower low and higher high, this is a W formation, specifically in overextended W formation. And what you expect is for the market to create a move to the downside and go and complete this W formation at the neckline, which is the previous resistance now turned support. So here on the, on the daily time frame, what we expect is for the market to create a move to the downside to go and complete the pattern at this previous resistance now turned support. One other thing that we can see here on the daily is that in all this impulse to the downside, there is one candle which is not related to the move, which is exactly this green candle here. And this green candle is a very strong supply area that if the market will actually retest it here, we can expect the market to reject it to the downside. So the daily time frame is lining up quite nicely with what we have on the weekly, because on the weekly, what we have seen is that we want to see a last move to the upside to test the 50% Fibonacci and then create a rejection to the downside. And here in the daily, we see the exact same thing. We want to see a little bit, a last move to the upside and then a nice move to the downside to complete this overextended W formation. So how we will be a approaching a, this kind of opportunity with students on EuroCAD. Now, before I show you that, let's first go and see what we have from a COT perspective. So commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are currently doing in the market. Now, starting here from the CAD, what we can see is that with the last report, we went from having 155K net positions all the way up to having 163K net positions. So we did have an increase of the net positioning with 7.7k longs added with the last report. So the euro is quite strong. And if we go and see what we have on the CAD, we can see that actually on the CAD net positions are decreasing. However, don't misunderstand this because we went from having minus 21.2k net positions all the way up to having plus 10.3k net positions. So overall, we had a quite strong increase of the net positioning from having a negative net positioning to having a positive net positioning. So from having 55.4k short positions and 34.7k longs from an institutional perspective, all the way up to having 43.6k long positions and only 33.3k shorts. So the CAD is actually stronger than the euro, which means that we can easily complete this W formation to the downside. 
So the way in which we will be approaching this with students is as usual being reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly and daily timeframes are the best timeframes for the direction of the market. But when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best timeframe is the four hours. So what we will be doing with students is monitoring price action from a four hour perspective during this move to the upside. Until everything will remain bullish as it is right now, we absolutely will not be looking for any kind of shorting opportunities because we would be shorting a bullish market, which is never a good idea. However, what we will be doing is waiting for the market to shift from a four hour bullish market as we have right now to a four hour bearish market. And as soon as the market will shift from a four hour bullish to a four hour bearish market at that point, we will be adding EuroCAD to our watch list with students. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice short with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities at that point for the move to the downside and for the market to complete the W formation at the neckline, which is the previous resistance, which is now turned support. If you made it this far in the video, it would be great if you could smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the channel and support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. I have a full mentorship program that will teach you exactly the rules of my rule based strategies and also give you every single day a new market breakdown in which I show you exactly how to apply the strategies with entries, stops and take profits, as well as answering every question that you have every single day, including the weekends. So it's a very complete program. It will teach you everything that you need to trade the market consistently. So I will see you in it. The link is in the description or I will see you in the next video.